hi guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn about the top down assembly in Creo parametric as i have received a comment from our subscriber like he needs to know about uh, the meaning of uh, the top down assembly approach okay so first of all there are two types of approach one is bottom up and one is top down assembly so what is bottom up is like if you have enough parts for creating an assembly you can go up with the bottom up assembly because you have some separate separate parts so now you are going to assemble the parts that's all so when it comes to top down assembly you don't have any parts you have to create a part by depending upon one more part or depending upon your assembly you have to create a part without any dimension by having a reference of the previously assembled part so for that we will use this top down assembly in Creo parametric okay so first of all i'll show you how to do that okay so at first let me click on new and and click the default template and check whether you have like uh, the type as an assembly okay and make it as a design and uh, like you have to be aware of your name like let me click as base underscore part let me click as a base part so here the unit will be definitely mms asm design abs okay good so now we don't have any parts for assembly assembly or like the most of the uh, top down assembly approach will be done when you have done previously a part imagine if we have a like a square uh, sorry, rect sorry rectangle with a four holes here but we need to add a bolt in here like for four holes we need to add some four bolt and net so for that we have to measure the dimension in here so for that we can directly assemble the first part in here after that we can create a second part in this assembly itself okay so that is known as top down assembly approach okay so first of all let me create the first part inside this assembly also okay so you guys have previously experienced in my video as you can see on the bicycling modeling not in exactly in bicycle modeling by the jet engine modeling so the jet engine modeling will be entirely constructed by the top down assembly approach okay so you if you have time you can once go and watch that so that will be a complex model in our channel so you can go and watch that video for a better understanding okay so you can see in here after this assemble you can see create a part so this is the option that we are going to use for creating our components here okay let's go for the create and here in the inside this create we can able to select the type and subtype you like when we click on new we will have the same menu bar here right so same part solid and you can edit the part name in here that i'm just going to leave it as it is click on ok and once you get into this you can see some options in here like creation option definitely it will be the called it will be called as creation method whether you are going to copy from the existing model or if you are going to locate any default data planes or whether you are going to choose an empty creation option so when you choose empty there will be nothing which has been created in here okay so let me choose the empty if you click on empty you can see a part has been created here but it is not in an active like it is in an active mode but uh, you can't like you can't able to see any sketch options in here right so for that you have to click this part as we have created this part previously you have to click this part and you have to make this part as as an active part once you make this part as an active the entire assembly has gone to a blurred side where we can't be able to access these parts right so it has been gone for the blurred side okay it, like we will have a reference but this is not the exact gate and planes in here we can't directly select the plane and we can't directly go for the sketch even though if you go for the sketch we have to go for the references so here you can see on the top ribbon you can see all the options that will have the same as a part right you can see the extrude in here revolve sweep flood blend and everything we have which are common to the part right so here let me just take an example i am just going to sketch on the front plane so this is the front plane right so if you go for the sketch like i said before this is not the original part plane this is the assembly plane so we have to take reference for the part plane right so for that let me go for the sketch view and here you have to select the axis let me select the x axis sorry y axis and x axis 
after selecting the axis you can close the reference and now you can directly create any objects that you want in here okay let me just go for the circle as a very simplest part in here and okay no dimensions okay so let me extrude that to a symmetric extrude of 500 and let me have a good view on the shading with edges okay so now you can see that we have done a part inside this assembly and you can see this part one is on the assembly mode in here it like it is an active mode right so there is a one more option for creating the planes let me just undo this extruded part okay undo the sketch let me just go for the standard orientation you can see okay you can see the planes are not uh, in a good manner right so they are like uh, half shaded it is not on the brightest mode so for that you have a daytime option in here you can create your planes you can offset the planes for the new part that you have to create go for the offset planes once you go for the x direction plane if you have any offset value for your planes you can add your values manually but i don't want any values in the offset so i'm just going to choose zero for the x and zero for the y and zero for the z so after clicking for all these three directions you can see our datum planes has been created for the new part that we are going to create right so you can directly select the part plane or else if you um, make this you can see the datum one datum two and datum three so this will be front and sorry this will be top and this will be right and this will be front right so let me go for the front plane and now if you go for the sketch there like it should that you, you should not like you shouldn't have any kind of pop-up for selecting the reference so already we just have a reference plane in here right so i'm just going to repeat the same for the circle 200 and extrude that uh, symmetric extrude as a 400 and click on ok so now this is our part one okay so for this part one i'm just going to add one more feature here for a whole feature so i'm just going to sketch on the face like the circle and let me keep this as 100 and now i'm just going to create a hole in here towards back side and the whole depth is let me keep this as 280 and then fine okay good so this is my first part right so if you want to add some couple of round features you can let me add it for a value of 20 okay good good to go so now this is my part one let me hide the model tree so this is my part one okay so now i'm just okay with the part one i'm just going to create this part two so how you how you can close this part one because like you can see there are over two like sorry you, you have an option like this is an active part you can see in here this is an active part right so once you go for the assembly you can see the active part in here so you, if you make the entire assembly activate when you activate the assembly you can see you can see the model but you can't able to access the part menu bar in here you have to if you have to edit the part again you have to click this and you have to make this active again and you can able to access the part in here so after completing your uh, entire part you can directly click on this assembly and uh, make this assembly active so now it's done right so now the next way the main way for the top down um, assembly approach is creating the next part so for the next part we don't have any dimension so we have to measure the circle dia and we have to measure the depth and uh, on the outside we have to take a reference of this so this will be an easy model so you can directly go for the analysis and you can directly go for the measure diameter and if you click on the diameter you can able to see the diameter but that's fine but for the complex part we don't have any specific dimension for that so for that we should have definitely take the reference of the previous assembly so that's that is what the top down assembly main used okay so for that i am just going to create one more part in here so let me keep the name as part 2 okay and the part 2 definitely like it will be like a pin inserting in this hole and like a cap on the top okay so i'm just going to keep this as a empty no like you can also copy from the existing but that's fine I'm, I'm just going to keep this as a empty okay so once you have seen we have created a part in here i'm just going to make this part active so once you make this part as an active you can see the part one 
has gone like a reference image like a reference thing it's not look like a entire part right so we can use the entire part for our reference and we can able to create our part so here if you are going to use a datum planes you can directly go for the datum you can go for the offset planes and you can create planes inside the, of this model or else i'm not going to use any datum planes here because we just have a reference surface here i'm just directly going to sketch on the surface directly go for the extrude and let's go for the sketch view so here i am just going to draw a circle up to the reference in here okay sometimes it will not highlight it because uh, when it on the back side we have to use reference we have to take the reference of this okay so when you click on okay and you can see we can able to extrude that i'm just going to flip that back and the depth is up to the whole extended thing so select up to the selected surface and i'm just going to select the back surface and you can see it has been extruded up to the depth of the hole right so let's click on ok and you can see the second part is only got highlighted where the first part is a kind of a mold right ok so the next thing is on the top i'm just going to create one more cap feature so let's go for the extruded surface again let's click this surface also extrude go for the sketch view circle um yeah up to the reference okay and i'm just going to extrude this up to a length of 20 and let's give it okay so now you can see that we have created this entire pin part without any dimension by using the reference of the first part right so this is why we will like most of the uh, parts are being created by using the top row assemblies approach okay so once you have created this part you can directly go for the assembly and make it as an active right so this is the assembly that we have done so and uh, once again you can go for the extrude and you can edit by yourself okay everything you can done in here and if you want to save this part separately click on this part and open it as a separate file okay and same for the part two you can open it as a separate part and you can save it as your separate part. okay and you can better use this part again um as a bottom-up approach okay so i think uh, you i hope you guys have understood what i'm saying in this video right so thank you guys and uh, if you have any more doubts on this you can directly comment below i will upload a separate video on that okay so thank you guys we will see the next video with very very interesting content until then bye